Hi guys and welcome. My name is Chris and this is Robotics Gaming with Code Vein Part 2 on PlayStation 4. Um, hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's get started. Um, so, where did we get to? Like in the last video, we just done the uh, the whole intro sequence for the game. We had character uh, creation with a load of different options on there. Kind of uh, checked out a few of them. Uh, built our character, which is a female, and we're going with a caster build for this run. Um, <clears throat> I played a little bit before. This is still kind of a blind playthrough. And um, once we get past the first boss. Um, and I think I have got... We took a little time last time as well just to make sure, just to try to level, level up all the skills for these different builds so we could uh, have them on our bar and this is what we are left with. A little caster build. Uh, so hopefully that works out well for us this time. So we're just going to progress forward. Speak to this guy. Are you a fellow explorer? It appears you're alone. I'm on my own at the moment too. But I was hoping for a partner for the path ahead. What do you say? Would you mind working together? At least until we're through here? Don't worry. I'm not going to stab you in the back. My asthma and the lost here are enough trouble as it is. Uh, sorry, but I'm going to have to say no. All right. I get it. That may be the shrewdest choice. Um, <clears throat> so with this game, um, you can kind of you can get a partner who helps you out in combat. Um, I'm choosing not to have a partner with me because just because I want to just get a little bit more of a challenge. Um, and yeah, to just play through the game at its like highest potential of difficulty. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna bypass the partner system. Uh, but if you're starting out to this, it's probably a good idea to uh, take a partner along because it's gonna make things uh, a lot easier. Yeah, I, um, I need to kind of remember these buttons because uh, I'm getting confused. I've been playing a few different games like this. Um, so yeah, it's not a good idea to switch back and forth because controls can be a little bit different on each game. Back right him. Swing's got a massive right range. Um, all right, let's carry on. We did take a bit of damage there, but we should be okay for the next part. Oh, sugar! All right. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's come all the way through. He's gonna. Wow. Well, the other guy had long reach. This guy is insane. Not get a back attack on this guy. Okay, that's. Probably need to take care of him. Very quickly. Um. So yeah, that was the big guy that was down here. I think the last time I did this, I aggroed him up here and he kind of like kept attacking me with the axe while I was up here and he was down there. Uh, okay, so we've got the ladder to go up. 
check it around. This is where we came down before. We're dropping. This we're dropping quite a few frames. Oh, let me just check. What is going on exactly? <clears throat> <clears throat> we shouldn't have this problem, but we are for some reason. Okay. We've got there's seven uh, items nearby. Um, so I kind of like got drawn to the scale just for like finding items and stuff, making sure we're trying to uh, get everything in the game. But it kind of, it seems like it shows uh, how many items are here, but on different levels of the game. So you won't necessarily be able to acquire them just yet. Um, your blood has special properties that can activate dried up blood springs. <clears throat> Once received, the blood spring will start producing blood beads again. These blood beads have the same composition as human blood. Revenants have been using them to quench their bloodthirst. Brilliant. <clears throat> Does it actually have any function in the game? I don't know, we can't like click on it or anything. And there's ones. Activate missile. Have a little rest. Um, so we've got, um, have we, yeah, we've acquired all the gifts. So we can just, uh, start putting stuff into leveling up. Slayer Blade. Let's have a look at this one. Um, okay, so it's less damage. Um, a mass produced single edged sword applied to soldiers in Operation Queen Slayer. Designed to be built as quickly as possible, the Icor Conductor is uncovered, giving a rough appearance. But it's finely honed blade cuts through lost flesh with ease. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so we're not gonna. <clears throat> we are. Are we? No, we're not. Got higher defenses. Um, but yeah, it just adds more weight on. We're trying to. I really want to get a weapon that can take me back down to uh, the quicker movement. We can just uh, glide behind enemies. Uh, Venom cartridge. I'm assuming that's just going to apply poison like our gift to the weapon. And some loss shard. <laughs> um, so I'll go over the items uh, uh, soon, just the ones that we've collected so far to see what, uh, see what benefits they give.
This guy again. That was the wrong time to do that. Okay, and there's uh, down below, which is where we came through before to get to this place. I lost Bardashe. Um, I don't think we can. What's our? I don't think we can run air jump in this game. Once someone is lost, they can never come back. Cast aside the death. by the miasma. I wonder what range this spell got. This is a nice, we can kind of just stay back a bit. So we need to get some mana back. We're gonna sledgehammer. must pay a levy. There are no exceptions. A vestige. Best to stay away from those stones. Anyone who touches them is defiled, transformed into the lost. Don't listen to their whispers. Someone has to be sacrificed. Without blood beads, 
We won't make it. Once she's settled down, let's get out of here. Okay. <clears throat> We're still like in the boss area. There's nowhere else we can go. Let's speak to the sky. Keep watch. Go and see if she's alright. Where is she? Hello. I hear a voice. Crazy lady. I hear a voice. Okay, so this is coming from this item. Wait, Wait what, what are, are you? you Right, so it looks like we've kind of like entered the crystal and gone into some kind of like dream. Please, let us keep them just this once. We won't make it if you take them. All revenants must pay a levy of blood debts. There are no exceptions. Sorry. Looks like we're going through Oliver Collins' past. Remain are under Silver's control. Wandering reverence like us, forced to hunt for blood beads, or face death. Even if some reverence must be sacrificed for our survival. Well, I guess you need what you sell, right? That's all right. What's important is that at least one of us makes it. And I think that's where he just got like, um, uh, jumped in that cave and got his mask sliced a bit. This is a memory echo. It's a place where lost recollections still wander. Come, let's move on. If you use that stairway, I believe it should take us back to the world outside this memory. Is this the past of one of the lost? No, there's no way. Was that? It was a memory carved into that vestige by the one who left it behind. I didn't expect that I'd get dragged into it, too. We both melted into you. I can't believe this. What a power. Come with me. I know a spot where we can rest. I'm 
I'm Lily. I'm researching blood beads. Nice to meet you. Uh, Berserker Vest Vestige Core uh, Features high strength and endurance It's low I-core stock It can be offset with heavy armor Nice So it's kind of uh, annoying if you just want to get Like into the game Like after, I've got a feeling like after a few playthroughs This is going to get just, just long winded But it's a nice kind of setup um, For your first run and I like this whole idea of like, um, you know, main characters. Well, is it going to be, are you going to find these throughout the world or is it just going to be from ones that you defeat? But these like little crystals, which give you like a bit of insight in, um, <clears throat> you know, what happened to this character. It's a, it's, a, it's a nice touch to the game and a good way to bring out the story. Ugly, isn't it? The red, the red mist showed, showed up a short, short time, time after, after the queen, queen was defeated. defeated. And when, when it did, it, did, it trapped, trapped everyone, everyone and everything inside, inside giving birth to the society of revenants ruled by Silva. The jail of the mists. As time passed, that was the name people gave to the world inside. The creatures trapped inside the miasma wander in a never-ending cycle of death and rebirth, always searching for blood beads to sustain them. Revenants need to have blood. Without it, they turn into those creatures we call the Lost. The revenants who captured you were desperately searching for blood, terrified of losing themselves. It's a common fate these days. But ripples are beginning to form. You cleared the miasma and revitalized the blood spring. Where did you learn to do that? You've forgotten? Anything you do remember? It's unusual, unusual. Losing, losing so, so much, much of your memory. memory. I, suppose I suppose it was, it was the same, same for her. For now, just take it easy. Make yourself at home. Yeah, nice. So we made it to home base. Um, we get some experience from killing bosses as well, which is good. Let's see what he's got to say. You're looking a bit tired. We can talk again later. Friend is probably lonely in a place like this. I'll have to say hello to her sometime. Ah, uh, or Lewis, or Louis. It's warm here, isn't it? Everyone wants to know more about me, but I don't know the answer to any of their questions. All I can remember is that my name is Eo, and that my place is by your side. My name. I have no idea what it means. Um, on my side? I'm not sure. It was simply decided. One does what must be done. And for me, that is my mission. To stay at your side. What about the bandages? I was wounded while I was searching for you. I am not a very capable fighter. Um, okay. So we've got little uh, <coughs> little things we can engage with around this place. Uh, such as jigbox. Um talk to uh Lewis to gather more information. Exploration goal. <laughs> there, another booby character. 
You're an unfamiliar face. Has Lily stuck his head into another pot of trouble? Well, it's none of my business, really. Anyway, I'm Coco, a merchant by trade. Stop by if you need anything. Sorry, but I'm in the middle of taking inventory. Try me again later if you still need something. Okay, so I don't actually think we can... Uh, we're gonna get much out of anyone until we... All revenants carry some secret Rest with up. Don't, don't. All rev don't, don't do anything, anything funny. funny. I'll, be I'll be keeping an eye on you until this talk with Louis settles down. Ah, uh, yeah. That is uh, the bathhouses. We'll check that out on another time. See what these notes are. Uh, season pass bonus, alternate Mia White. Uh, talk to the figure in the underground storage to have the season pass NPC alternate Mia White accompany you as a partner. And Astria. You can claim the season pass blood code Astria from the underground storage. Um, okay. <clears throat> Just run down here quickly and get these bonus items. Also, Mia White is available to accompany you, partner. And the new blood code. <coughs> code owner Mia Karnstein provides balance and stability in combat and features gifts you saw during exploration. Nice. Okay, so before we do anything else in this place, I'm assuming there's going to be just a lot of. Uh, um, you know, we're going to be able to talk to all the characters and get names and get used to what they do and stuff. Um, and we've got... interesting. How much... Well, um... Just having a look at what we actually get per level. We get some like one point in gift dark, but we get loads of HP um, and a bit of stamina. I think we will go for the levels. <clears throat> I probably should have checked this before we did. So we've got two new uh, blood codes. We've got Berserker. Um, so what our passive is increases balance. Okay. Uh, Blood Malice increases the power of the next attack. Dragon Lunge. Dash forward and make a powerful overhead attack. An offensive skill form of two handed weapons. Um, Iron Well temporarily reduces damage taken by weaving a barrier into your blood. Temporarily increases resistance to being staggered. And temporarily makes it easier to stagger enemies with your weapon. Um, oh, it might be nice. And Astria. Provides balance and stability. Guardian aid. Sacrifices HP to heal your partner and temporarily boosts your defense. Touch bearer. Restores, restores your regeneration power when your partner reaches zero HP and disperses. Okay, that seems like a good one if you if you have a partner. <clears throat> so, yeah, it looks like when your partner dies, you're going to get like, um, you know, Maybe full stacks or just some, some more stacks on your uh, ability. On your items, maybe a healing item. Um, lightning spike fires a projectile of crackling electricity at your target. And a gift extension tempor temporarily lengthens the effects of gifts used by you and your partner. Okay, nice. Um. So we've got to switch partner options so we can... So far we've got uh, Lewis. What we had... Maybe we have to unlock... Um, meet the other character first before we can use our... Um, that tutorial. So I guess you can go back through the tutorial again. Storage area. And we've got teleport as well. Which is... I'm um, assuming it's going to be... Uh, you know, same system of, as Dark Souls as we progress. We're going to unlock... Uh, 
open up missile missiles and we're gonna be able to teleport between these uh, missiles uh, okay so all right that's it for this video I'm gonna leave it here um next video we're gonna have <clears throat> yeah we're gonna progress a bit with the story we're gonna be wandering around wandering around talking to these characters uh, see what the guards say hopefully some of these will be shops which we can check out um yeah I uh, hope you guys if you liked any of this uh this content then please click the like and subscribe buttons and that notification bell be notified when the next video goes live hopefully see you guys again in the next video take care